Chapman and Liam, if I could start with you, when the draw was made, some Liverpool fans were saying, OK, this is a handy one. Is it? I think so, yeah. Maybe not necessarily tonight, but over the two legs. Liverpool home advantage in the second leg, how they're playing at Anfield. I would have said it's a very good draw, very advantageous draw. Um, Abu Bakar, the main man for Porto, centre forward, scores all the goals, is not playing. Um, and we know how uh, potent Liverpool are in attack. OK, they've lost Coutinho in the transfer window. Uh, and other people, like Rinaldo, maybe have to step up to the plate. But against Porto, I fully expect them over two legs to go through. OK, Richie, let's have a look at that, that Porto team. And the big news is about Abubakar. The big news is Abubakar is missing up front. But Felipe in the centre-half area, he's suspended as well. Marciano comes back into the side. He's been out for the last three weeks with a relatively minor injury. The two full-backs there, they get forward at every opportunity. Alexi Teles on the left and Ricardo on the right-hand side. Hector Herrera, the Mexican captain in the middle of the park. They've got real pace and threat out wide. Brahimi on the left-hand side, Algerian player, and for Mali, Morega is on the right-hand side. And as I said, Abubakar is missing up front. Suarez comes in, he's fresh from two goals of the weekend in a relatively comfortable 4-0 win. OK, I'm in Liverpool. Yeah, uh, Chan is suspended. Um, and uh, this is Alexander Ireland playing right back. Gomez left out. Um, Milner, Henderson, you'd expect a midfield, Juan Aldum will get forward a little bit more when they attack in. And the front three are deadly. Mane, Firmino and Salah. And that, they're the danger. Uh, they're a very good counter-attack inside. But they leak goals. Carrius, the goalkeeper, is not commanding uh, and not very impressive. Um, but both sides leak goals. There could be a goal fest tonight. Uh, it depends how Porto set up. Because Liverpool... They're inconsistent. They beat Manchester City 4-3 in a memorable win. Then they went to Swansea, lost 1-0 next game. Then they lost the next game at home to West Brom, uh, which is crazy. Uh, so it's hard to predict how Liverpool will play tonight. If they play well, they should win. Hmm. 